Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to share with you the performance tests of this iMac, the 21 inch late 2013. So if this is a topic that interests you, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to this video and um, you have seen this computer in my previous videos. It's my wife's computer uh, and I was a bit curious to see how it performs uh, for video editing. It's not a machine that I would choose uh, for myself. Uh, when I say video editing, um, talking about Final Cut Pro, uh, Premiere Pro and then of course the software that I use most, After Effects and Apple Motion 5. Um, it's not the machine that I would choose for me, uh, but as long as I have it here in my, in my office, uh, it's not mine, it's my wife, but uh, I was curious. And I received a few messages from the subscribers, um, how it performs, how it doesn't, is it good, is it bad? Uh, so we're gonna check for that. In the meantime, let's see this presentation in Keynote. Uh, one more thing, Angel Louise, if you are watching, uh, I know that you offered your services to, well not services, your, your free time to see any spelling mistakes that I did on the last keynote uh, of the Mac Mini. Uh, to be honest, I just don't have the time. When I, once I finish all the tests and finish the keynote, I just find some free time as right now uh, and I will Put the video there. Hopefully I don't have many spelling mistakes on a keynote. If I do, uh, I apologize for that and thanks uh, to uh, Angel Louise, which is uh, besides a subscriber, a great uh, community member, which uh, well gives this honest feedback and um, that's it. Let's go to the video. So I've got the keynote here and the title as it says iMac late 2014. Let's see what contents we're gonna have on this uh, first video. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna see the the iMac specifications in this case very quickly, and then we're gonna see why I did buy this uh, late 2014 iMac. Um, and I've got a missing something here, but well, that's okay. Then we will have the tests: Adobe Premiere rendering times, Final Cut Pro 10. Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion 5 and then the conclusion and let's see what we have there. Yeah, machines compared. Okay, so after the after we see the specifications for this uh, particular computer, what we're going to do is um, we're going to compare it not uh, to see uh, if this one is faster than the new Mac Pro because that's an obvious question that it's already answered, but to see how big or how small is the difference? Is it worth it the 5,000 euros for the Mac Pro? Is it not? Depending on what you do. Um, and what I do is machines that I get the chance to, to test either here or either uh, someone that, um, and I'll give you an example, uh, on the Mac Rumors forum uh, I made a post a few months ago and uh, some members were kind enough to, to render and make some tests that I have uh, and I gather all that data and I put it here. Uh, also that data will help me to decide what will be the future of my machine. I don't have the Mac Mini anymore, <laughs> it's not there anymore, I'm not gonna turn the camera, uh, but it's not there anymore, I just sold it and let's see what step I'm gonna, gonna get. But let's move on, uh, I'm gonna divide this into two parts, so in the first part we're gonna just see the tests, uh, the, the, the machines and the specifications and why, and then on the second part uh, I'm gonna post all the results. So if you don't want to stay for this more boring part, which is the first one, which is this one, uh, just jump to the next and um, see the more interesting things. If you are uh, those kind of people that, hey, I don't have nothing to do, so <laughs> I'm gonna watch Roberto talk a little bit, uh, just stay with us, okay? So let's start with um, the specifications of this wife. Uh, wife. <laughs> I was just reading here, my wife's PC. Uh, it's the 21.5 inch late 2014. Intel i5 2.7 gig, uh, gigahertz, 2 Pro boosts up to 3.2, uh, 
uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is the standard, was uh, okay. There I go, I did a mistake again. One terabyte HDD. Uh, this is the uh, the one terabyte HDD is five um, uh, five thousand four hundred RPM, and then it has a two hundred fifty six gigabyte SSD external USB, uh, which is the 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 disk that I do uh, the boot. Um, it has the Intel Iris Pro HT five thousand two hundred and IPS panel of one eighty P. So this is the specifications of this actual machine. Now let's see the machines that we're going to compare, not on, on all the tests, but in some of the tests. So Mac Mini, okay, <laughs> what I'm going to do is, I'm not used to, okay, so there we go. Uh, I used PowerPoint for a lot of years and I'm starting to make this is actually my second or third keynote on, on, on Keynote. Uh, so I miss a few things sometimes, but apologize for that. Let's move on. So the first machine here, we have the Mac Mini late 2014, uh, late 2012, i7 quad core, uh, 2.3 gigahertz with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the HD 4000. Uh, I also tested in some, this is the, 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 the MacBook Pro end of the line. Asrael CPU uh, late 2013, that is a mid-2014, uh, this is the late 2014 with the GTX 750, the, the, the GPU is the same. And then I did a tests uh, with this laptop, actually I don't have it anymore, but um, it had the i7 2.3, the specification was the same or were the same that the Mac Mini, but it had the GTX 630M. And then this iMac that we already saw, uh, the specifications, the iMac 27 inch, late 2014, top spec, uh, everything at maximum, um, which is of a community member. And then my desktop, i7 4770K, 32 gigs of RAM, and with the GTX 760. Also on this machine here, we have the new Mac Pro 6 cores, 64 gigabytes of RAM, two uh, D500s, GPU. As you can see, we have uh, a machine as low as 800 euros and, well, 800 euros, uh, 950 if you count for the, the RAM, uh, until 500 and something, uh, 500, uh, sorry, not 500, 5000 and something euros, which is the uh, new Mac Pro. So we've got a big scale over here and hopefully, if you want, by the way, if you wanted to participate and you have a machine that uh, you would like to test it out and include here, um, contact me and uh, we'll see if, if it's um, interesting to include it or not and it will be available in a future uh, keynote that I'm going to do, don't know when, uh, when I get my hands on a, another machine. Uh, that being said, let's go to the next page. Uh, I forgot to Okay, this is just the operating systems that they are running. As you can see, only two machines run uh, Windows 8 and all the others, of course, they are uh, with OS X, but with the possibility to use uh, Windows as well. So let's move on. Okay, so first of all, why this, this iMac late 2013 and this particular model for my wife, not for me, but for my wife? iOS and OS X integration. First time I, I, I bought a iPhone for my wife was about two years ago. Uh, not crazy about phones, I'm not. My wife neither. We like some apps and some to take pictures and upload them and make phone calls and SMS and that's it. No, nothing really fancy. So I'm not that kind of guy that is going to buy the iPhone 6 now. I'm not. Uh, there are plenty of people that buys the, the i6. For me the phone is not a producti productivity tool. It's, uh, it's a tool that I need to make some calls and I'm not gonna pay 700 euros for uh, a phone. So let's get back to the topic. I bought that the iPhone 4 for my wife. Uh, I will need a solution for her uh, because iOS 8 will not support or iPhone 4 will not be supported by iOS 8. Um, she liked the phone, the, 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 how the phone works and 
and so on. Uh, after she, she started working with my Mac Mini, she liked the integration of the iPhone with the Mac. So this whole ecosystem, iOS, OS X, is great. Uh, although I'm a big fan of, of uh, Apple and I'm a big fan of uh, Windows PCs, as you know, on my channel. If, if I can and uh, while I can, I will keep both systems. Um, sorry, just went out of frame. But uh, nonetheless, one of the things which is great is the integration between iOS and OS X, being able to run Windows uh, without any hiccups. So this is one of the reasons that um, made me to purchase this and give her, it was a birthday, birthday gift. Uh, one major thing, iPhoto. Uh, it's a, uh, maybe the favorite app of this family, it's not a big family, but of this family, it's iPhoto. Uh, I've made a video of just iPhoto to show you some some things, but, and for the most of you, um, no great news there. But iPhoto is one of our favorite apps. Um, of course, it's not a professional app, but for our entertainment, uh, home entertainment, for our pictures and sharing and all that, uh, it seems crazy to have a computer for one app and that was not the point, but it was a factor that uh, I knew she would like to, to manage photos and so on. Okay, let's move on. iWork, which is an app also... Uh, it's not an app, it's, it's a, a bundle of apps, free apps, uh, spreadsheets, docs and, and things like that. And just uh, if you're not aware of, just browse Google and you will find it. Uh, free application. Um, okay, then I've got a good deal on this on this computer. I had 20% discount, which allowed me um, to buy her a iPad without uh, many extra costs. I was thinking of giving the iMac in in the birthday and then the iPad um, on Christmas, and with this bundle, boom, just bought both of them. Uh, now. I should have waited and saved the iPad for the Christmas. Now I will have to get, well, I don't know, I will see. Uh, the price was, uh, if I would purchase it at, at the Apple Store or at any vendor, would cost me 1949 and in this case it costed me 1649 So we are seeing a savings of 300 euros. Um, and here's the spec specifications, and you already saw this on previous videos. If you didn't just browse around, you will find it uh, with the external SSD. I could save a little bit more if I didn't insert the SSD, but at the same time, this would be the price for the iMac with the SSD, so this price would be lower if I didn't have the SSD on. Um, another important thing that I got her was <clears throat> five-year warranty. Um, if you have a local shop that does this, um, in my case it was an electronic, electronic shop, a local one, um, highly respected on our uh, country. In the, for 80 euros, I got the extended three years, uh, three years um, warranty. And that means that I have two years uh, plus the three extension for 80 years, which is a great, great deal. If any fan, anything, uh, Breaks, uh, which is one of the things of um, all-in-ones that I don't like. If, if a graphic card blew off, you have to take all the computer and uh, to repair. But that's another topic. Uh, Five-year warranty on this it's, it was a great deal, and it's included in the in the price here. So, okay, and then the design and looks. Of course, it's um, in my personal case, uh, I like the design, but my main machine is Hayden under the desk so no one sees it. Um, I built it, I, uh, I chose all the parts, no fancy lights, nothing like that, everything plain and, and uh, with the performance and, and silence in mind, but um, we have to, to give this to Apple. In terms of all-in-one, in our opinion, both mine and, and my wife's, uh, it is a, a great and beautiful machine. It is. It's well designed, and, and uh, so it was not a main factor to buy it, but um, it increase, accre uh, increases some 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 value to it. Okay. So that being said, and yeah, that being said, we're gonna go to our next. Um, okay. 
our first test will be Adobe Premiere rendering times. I'm going to finish the video right over here. So if you want to see the detailed um, benchmarks, real world benchmarks, no, no. If you want to make, if you want to see Geekbench, you just go browsing. Uh, so for real world, just jump to the next video. I will try to post a link here if I don't forget. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so bye bye.